Well, hi everybody, hope that your week is off to a great start. Speaking of starting things, we are very aware that our school students have now happily finished another academic season. And for students, as well as faculty members, staff, uh, and administrators, I'm sure there's a lot of joy and happiness about wrapping up uh, one challenging academic season. And speaking about wrapping things up, we're really happy that Jim Galese is with us this morning to share uh, a word of thanks for having wrapped up another really successful Littlest Angels appeal this spring. Jim. Thank you, Monsignor. Um, I came today really to just let you know that we've, just as Monsignor said, we've wrapped up another uh, successful Littlest Angels campaign. And uh, for me, this is kind of a special year because the parish has been so generous. Uh, we exceeded our goal again, and this is after coming back uh, with the fall. We had the camp. We had a collection for the earthquake relief, where we raised an amazing amount of money, about fifteen thousand dollars. And then to come back a few months later and hit this campaign goal, it's uh, it's so important for our sister parish. And in the coming weeks, we hope to have some more information from Father Alexis uh, on the conditions at our sister parish in St. Clair. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and the committee's heart. Uh, the generosity of you and the people of our parish never ceases to amaze me when it comes to Littlest Angels. Thank you. And speaking of Father Alexis, do check out the YouTube link that's a part of today's message where we'll hear a message from Father Alexis offering his words of thanks. And as Jim mentioned, there'll be another message coming a little bit later from Father Alexis giving a better picture of exactly how the funds that we had been sharing had been really making a positive and personal impact in the lives of our sisters and brothers uh, at St. Clair Parish, uh, his spiritual community uh, in Haiti. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, looking back, wrapped up a school year, wrapped up a super successful uh, Los Angeles campaign, which means it's time to look forward. And that's why we're standing here in front of a castle, because our Vacation Bible School is happening next week. It's not too late to register. It begins on Monday, uh, June 20, and we'd really love to see the Jerusalem, Nazareth, Bethany rooms filled with happy, joyful students as they experience uh, a few days of time to learn a little bit more about the faith and learn a little bit more about each other and enjoy a whole lot of fun together. So if you haven't had a chance yet to register your student, Please do so as soon as you can because our team needs to know how many folks to expect so that the appropriate materials are ready. And if you haven't had a chance to offer uh, a helping hand, you can always use volunteers to help us make this Vacation Bible School happen. It always turns out great, but we just need two things, happy students to attend and happy helpers to make the event uh, unfold. So please do reach out to our parish office as soon as you can and we'll be looking forward to hearing the happy sounds of students throughout our hallways here next week, beginning on Monday. Also, uh, looking ahead this coming weekend, uh, June 18, 19, we bring to conclusion the series of four special feasts that wrap up the church's year of prayer. We celebrated the Feast of the Ascension, followed by the Feast of Pentecost, followed by the Feast of the Holy Trinity, and now this coming weekend, the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ, known by its Latin title of Corpus Christi. And we hope that you'll come and uh, be a part of our prayer where we, where we will give praise and thanks to God for the incredible and awesome gift we receive in Jesus' body and blood in the Eucharist. And to help make a special expression of our gratitude, a couple of things to offer. One, for those who are receiving the Eucharist now for the first time, uh, our second grade students and those in our RCA process, We'd be really happy to have you come and wear your first Eucharist uh, outfit uh, as this outward sign of the joy and this great special opportunity that you now have to join with us as we pray Sunday by Sunday. Secondly, uh, we'll encourage everyone to join at a Mass at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen on Sunday morning, where Archbishop Lori will bring to conclusion an Archdiocesan special Year of the Eucharist and he's inviting parishioners from all across the Archdiocese to come and be represented. And again, to wear your first communion uh, outfit. Wouldn't that be a great sight to see a filled cathedral with men, women, and young people 
all being nourished spiritually with the Word of God and with Jesus' body and blood in the Eucharist. This Archdiocesan year of the Eucharist concluding this weekend makes a perfect segue into a special initiative that the bishops of the United States are introducing beginning this coming weekend, a special couple of years of Eucharistic revival. You'll be hearing and seeing more about that as the weeks and months unfold, but a perfect seamless transition as an opportunity to help us all continue to grow more deeply and in a greater participation in the great gift of Jesus' body and blood of the Eucharist. So we look forward to seeing you this weekend, Corpus Christi weekend, and of course Father's Day weekend uh, as well. So lots of wonderful things going on and a little farther out, but it's going to come up really soon. Please don't forget, Sunday, July 24, 6 p.m., here in our church, the National Christian Choir, over a hundred voices that have been with us before that will lead us in a wonderful uh, program, a concert of Christian worship music that you will not want to miss. Uh, I guarantee it, they are a tremendously powerful and inspiring group. So make plans now for you and your household to come, invite your family, your neighbors, your friends, Everybody's welcome. We expect a pretty full church, and we'd love to see you as a part of it. So, school year has ended, but lots of great opportunities and activities are still uh, unfolding. We hope to see you here. In the meantime, God bless you. Guys, you guys coming to VBS this summer, guys? Yeah! yeah. yeah. VBS, when is that? June 20th to 23rd. From 6 to 8 30 p.m. Yeah, tell your parents to get registered now and come on to VBS. Yeah. Yeah.